Hey everybody, Dr. Mystical, and it is day two of Papa Squirrel's Tarot Vlogmas Challenge. I'll put a link to the Vlogmas Challenge in the description below, but also check out the Tarot Vlogmas hashtag and see all the other really cool challenges that are being contributed by the entire community. Of course, take part yourself if that's something that interests you and have a lot of fun with the different prompts that our friend Papa Squirrel has provided for us. Day two's prompt is what minor arcana card reminds you of the holiday season and why? I really flip-flopped on this between two cards, the four of swords and the ten of pentacles. I can't really, I can't really kind of land on one over the other. And I think that I probably, if I had to really think about it, for me, the card really is four of swords. But I want to talk about the ten of pentacles and why I think that's something that's in my thinking process around why it reminds me of the holiday season. When I think about Ten of Pentacles, I think about legacies. I see in the, in the foreground, or I guess maybe in the background, we see the, we see the elders looking on to the next generation and the generation beyond. You see the contribution of, uh, resources that's been provided for that family's eternal and continual growth. And that's just something that I've really wanted and missed in my life and something that I work really hard to create for me and the generation that follows me. Um, deep and long connections with my family are sometimes challenging. And I think for a lot of people, the Ten of Pentacles is a card of bittersweet remembrances around the holiday season. Certainly, that's true for me a lot of the time. I often, too, find large family gatherings a little bit uh, ominous and overwhelming. I think the tensions of the year to come into those things and everybody enters them in a, in a situation or a feeling of anxiety. So for me, the card that the minor arcana card that really reminds me of the hot winter holiday season and it is the four of swords it's that sense of rest it's that sense of recovery it's that sense of being affirmed that everything is going as it should right now that this is a time for us to lay our swords down to lay our head down to rest recover recuperate and really think about the turn of the seasons from winter to spring. Allow our minds to be in a dormancy. Allow the anxieties and the worries that we've carried through the year, the struggles and toils and effort that we've put in all year long. It's a time for us to really lay those things down, have a moment of rest, and recover in readiness for the, for the year ahead or for the season ahead. Four of Swords for me is always a card that when I see in readings reminds me to just chill, just chill. And I think that's what I really enjoy most about the holiday season as much as it can be a hustle and a bustle and hectic and all sorts of things happening, making sure that meals are made and time is spent and and indications of, uh, uh, you know, indications of affection are paid, gifts are purchased, right? The Four of Swords reminds me to take time each day during the holiday season to rest, to recover, and to really recognize that the world itself is slowing down at this time. Whether you have a corporate day hustle job or you're working for yourself, a lot of times the holiday season is a time where even large organizations encourage time off, allow for flexibility and scheduling, allow employees and their teammates and colleagues to rest. So the Four of Swords is this wide reaching card for me that really hits home for the holiday season. It reminds me to lay down. It reminds me to rest my mind and my worries and settle into a long winter's nap, as it were, that everything is as it should be, and that this is a time to rest and recover for the building and the growth in the season ahead. So that's day two's challenge of Popto Squirrels Tarot Vlogmas. Again, link in the show description. Check it out. Hit the hashtag on Tarot Vlogmas and check out all the other things that great contributors are doing. It's just been brilliant, and I hope you'll join us and enjoy the challenge together.